Okay, we'll try to concentrate a little better on this game than the last. I don't know what that C2, C3 move is at this point. Why you would do that, but... And then it does E4 on top of that. I won't be able to hold on to that pawn all that long, I don't believe. Okay, we're going to start again with this position. Uh, I don't know what the computer is doing. It doesn't make any sense to me. But we'll play its little game and see what's going on with it. We'll line up on that queen. And now I'll protect the bishop so I can do the following. I got too cocky in the last game and stopped paying attention to what I was doing. And I got screwed. See, you don't want this situation, believe me. If you're a novice at chess, you don't want to see this. First of all, a queen's out of place doing nothing. I've got most of my pieces. I'm just trying to get my pieces well developed. That isn't the point. Watch this. Now it's king has moved, and he's extremely vulnerable to attack. You don't want this. Well, now I'm going to forge ahead, and it better do something pretty quick, because it's in, it's in trouble. It hasn't lost by any means, obviously, but it's in trouble. Well... Apparently thought I would be impressed by that. I'm not. Let's I'll just drive him back where he came from. That accomplished nothing and it cost a move. Last game it whooped tar on me. Now it's king can't move. Can't uh castle. That's one thing. So, he's... It's already been seriously weakened. And... What I'm gonna do... Here, I think... I don't wanna drop protection on that bishop. I'm definitely thinking about doing something nefarious here. The problem is, despite what it's... the screw-ups that it's done, it still has quite a presence in the center. And I'd be best not to forget that. I normally would not put this knight here, but I think I will this time.
if I never go there. Well, that's just lovely. So, what are you doing with your night at a time like this? One thing I can do is threaten it with checkmate if it takes it. And pawns on the, the pawn, if it moves, if it takes the knight, it's a one move checkmate. After I do this, and they don't see it. It's not, that's not going to fool it. So, it drove its pawn at me. Could take it, but. Big time trouble. Uh, of course, I paid a heavy price for this position. I ain't lost my beast. Hmm. That pawn is undefended. A center pawn, and that king ain't going nowhere. I th think it's checkmate. Maybe not. Where can he go? I don't see any place. There's nothing that can take him. Alright, it's staying corrected. All right, at this point, I don't want to let off the pressure on it. Because it's in a shitload of trouble. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to move my knight down here to threaten this rook. If it did that with its queen, 
It's an act of desperation. Because it knows its goose is cooked. I can't imagine it doing it for any other reason. So I'm going to go ahead and take her off the board. Yeah, it knows its goose is cooked now. I wanted to get rid of my bishop there. Which is fine. It's off the board now. So, I think while we're at it, we'll go ahead and relieve it of its other rook. And, all right, so I do have to move my queen out of harm's way. And Scoose is thoroughly cooked. It's only a matter of time now. I don't see how you defend this. So I'll go ahead and... Normally I'd castle kingside, but this will give him, put him in check, and it gives me another move. And we can see it has no defenses left, really, for its king. It can fight on to some extent. This king does have an escape route. Uh, but I don't think it's going to last long. Because I am going to so hound that beast. You have no idea. So we'll go ahead and... I gotta be careful what I do. Well, we'll go ahead and bring the knight back out. And there we have its knight. It brings this knight out to counter mine. So there we have the bishop interposed. We'll just go ahead and take him right off the board. And we can see that by exposing that king, I've, uh, weakened it to the point where it's basically done. And it pulled a stun on me, but it didn't last for long. Now, there's nothing I can really do with that rook at this point. I mean, the knight's protected, so I'm not concerned with that. Well, apparently I want to steal my pawn.
Now, this is ridiculous. See, it's giving me a choice of my bishop, my uh, knight, or my uh, queen. All right. That's fair. You see, what I did by doing that, all it has to counter me, I have a rook and a pawn and a knight in the center there. And all it has is a knight. They cost me, but it simplified things, and there's. And it's not going to have a good time. That's a past pawn, and. I'm not playing this little game. Let it take that pawn. I don't really care. Too late, turkey. Alright, so we'll move King out of the way, head towards its pawns on the side there. And at some point, we'll have to relieve it of its might. That is irritating me so badly. And now I'm now I'm gonna close in for the kill. At this point in time, you'd think it would just resign. And there you go. 